Hello and welcome to my tutorial on resampling uh, with KSPAD KP3. So in today's tutorial I will show you how to resample from one bank into another. Uh, also I will show you how to record the one-shot samples and how to convert them into a loop samples. So let's begin. Uh, resampling is pretty easy. Uh, first thing we're gonna make sure we already have a sample somewhere. In my case, uh, I have samples in bank C and D. And we're going to resample into bank A. Uh, make sure you don't have anything valuable in bank A because it's gonna erase everything that's there. So let's take a look at our setup. Uh, bank C, I have the sample from the song. It's a loop sample, it plays continuously. It, it has a length of eight bits. Uh, bank D has a one-shot sample. Barbra Streisand. So you probably recognize them both from uh, Barbra Streisand remix uh, by Daxos. So let's say we want to resample this one with the LFO effect. Like this. Okay, let's set it up. So I'm gonna hold the effect so it plays continuously. Then you're gonna hold shift and hit sampling. Now it's ready to sample. Let's set length to 8 bits because this is the length of the original sample in Banksy. And just wait till it restarts and hit A. And it's recording. Okay, done. We're gonna turn off bank C. And now it's playing bank A. With, oh, let's disable the LFO effect. So right now it's playing uh, with changes we made. Now let's say we want to add another effect on top of this one. How are we gonna do this? Well, we want sample from bank A and we, and we want to record it into another bank. So what is the next bank available? Well, let, let's re-record to, to bank C. I already have the sample saved to memory to the uh, CF compact flashcard to do this. So let's play A. And let's say we want a uh, filter effect like this. We want to record this sound, opening of the filter. Again, while it's playing, we hit shift sampling. So get ready to Play effect. Let's start here, for example, and let's wait for it to restart. And it's recording now. And it's now recorded with the filter applied. Of course, we lost anything we hadn't seen before. So now I have this or this. Uh, okay, another example. Let's say you want to combine two samples. So we want to do this. Let's uh, let me load original sample I had here. It should be loaded. Let's play it. Yeah, we have original sample without any effects, and we want to do this. Barbara Streisand. Something like this. All set. Let's play this. Uh, let's set up shift sampling, and again we're gonna sample into bank resample into bank bank A. Uh, Eight. It's too short. Let's make it sixteen. And three, four, one. Barbara Streisand. Okay, good. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Barbara Streisand. Pretty good, I think. So, how do you record one-shot sample? Actually, it's easy. It's the same way you record a uh, regular sample. The only thing is you interrupt the recording by pressing the sample button before it reaches the end. So, for example, we want to sample. Uh, you don't have to hold shift, just sampling. So, we want to sample, uh, I don't know, four-beat sample. So, when you start sampling, you have to stop it before it reaches the 4. Okay, so let's say I want to sample this. 
so we're gonna hit shift sampling four bars is fine doesn't matter and let's sample so okay we're gonna start not gonna wait till end and stop okay, let me stop it so you can see now it turned red which means uh, which means it's one one uh, shot sample anyway there you have it um, so let me just load sample I recorded before here so load sample D number seven yes and it's this one uh, okay Barbara Streisand uh, let's say we want to turn this into a continuous loop. Uh, so the way we're going to do it, we're going to resample it into another bank. Simple enough, right? Well, not really. It's actually a little bit tricky. Uh, the thing is, uh, this is two-bit sample, so you have to be very precise. And you're probably going to, because you have to hit one uh, bank A button, and then you have to start playing. So you're going to lose small piece. Um, to go around this, I'm going to make this a little bit longer than two beats. So I'll make it four. And then we'll adjust the ends and and uh, beginning. So ready to resample. Hit A almost immediately. Hit Barbara D. Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Well, we have the loop now. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. We want Streisand. to loop it better. We're gonna have to Streisand. adjust it. Barbara Streisand. We're gonna remove Barbara some from the beginning. Barbara the idea. Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Sucks, I know, but the idea behind this you have to you have to keep playing with the resampling. Well, let me show you another actually uh, another small example of resampling. So let's say we have the our annoying lawyer commercial from previous tutorial. You deserve one hundred. You remember this one? You deserve one hundred percent. And I want to mix it with this. Deserve 100%. This one. You, 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 yeah. you, 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 and let's hear what we got. You, 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 That's it. Oh, you got the idea. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time.